Hi, Paper Crafters, Kim Ferguson. It is Wedding Wednesday, and Google has chosen the number nine, which now I have a new numbering system. I had one to 68, but I've now condensed my things, combined a few things together. So now it's just one to 38. And so number nine is beads, glass pieces, which are what I used in last week's wedding where I made the path and then sequins and along with that i could choose to use my fuse tool or make a shaker aspect using acetate so today i've chosen to use sequins so this is a box of sequins that i have oops there's a piece getting away so here's my sequins i do have some others but this is my main source and then i have these beads from hobby lobby and I've got these on their 50% off sale. And you can see the different sizes of just clear gems. I think these are black as well. And then I have the same gems, but in colors. And again, this is from Hobby Lobby and 50% off. So these will last me quite a while, especially the really tiny ones. So here's what happened. <laughs> I love my whole recording system, but today during, <clears throat> excuse me, my health class, we tried something different. We tried to go into Kahoot. So if you've ever heard of that, that's like quizzes that you can do online, you know, with yourself or with your kids. And then it ranks them as a who got the top score and, and everything. So we did a health Kahoot quiz today and something happened with the microphone. So I don't know, it was, I'm sure it was user error but anyway, when I recorded, I recorded this whole side. <laughs> and so when I went to play it back, of course, the microphone hadn't worked. So it's like this silent movie. But that's okay. I have a second side. So you can see me create the second. The only thing that'll be different is I used the Creative Memory Cutting System, the star shape, to cut out this gold piece of paper. And what that is for is my grandson was the ring bearer in my son and daughter-in-law's wedding. And so there's a picture of him with the badge that I bought for him. He's walking with that badge on. And so I thought it'd be fun to put the star and then ring security down here. And it'll be a picture of him. And this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, the rehearsal night photos. So they're, they're more casual pictures. So I don't know how formal I'll really be with the actual wedding photos because I had a lot of fun creating this. So we'll just see when the time comes. But basically what I did is I have some pre-made paper pieced trees. I have a lot of them. So a lot of times when I do my paper piecing, I'll make multiples of whatever it is I'm cutting out for the purpose of pulling them later. And so I glued the trees down first. I will go back after recording and cut these sides off. And then I had this arbor that is also a die cut that I've had for years and years. I don't even know where I purchased that from. It would have been pre-SVG, SVG, excuse me, and, you know, cutting machines. So I cut it in half so I could have half here and half there. Because in the pictures, it's the outdoor wedding. And so there's arbors with all the greenery that's, you know, growing up and over it. So I wanted to replicate that. And so I had these old stickers these are from Francis Meyer ink. And so the long ones are what I use at the tops of the arbors. This one's glue. I'll get this one in just a minute. But I put it across and I cut off the ends. And between the ends of those and then a third and fourth of the vines, I put it down the side of the arbor. And then I went back in with the sequins and those gems to kind of, you know, replicate the lights that would have been, you know, up in the greenery hanging over the arbor. And then I had a grass sticker from my stash down below. And then I found this really pretty blue kind of distressed paper that has embossed flowers and leaves on it. So you can see that they're kind of embossed. So this was just in my stash. I did not do that. That's how the paper was, but you can see the distressing. But most of that's going to be covered up by my photos. I have quite a collage that's gonna go right here. And there wasn't an easy way for me to cover them up to put them on the page tonight. So I'm just creating the background and then I'll go back after I'm done recording and actually put the pictures down. I'm not even going to mat them because they're going to be so many right up to each other. So anyway, so that's how I made this. So I'll just go ahead and redo it 
on this side. So at least I've got a second one to do so you can see my process. So again, just some trees I had already made in my stash and I'm just staggering them because in the, this is, the wedding was on the property of the grandparents of the maid of honor. And then the maid of honor's mom was kind of the wedding coordinator. So it's a beautiful property and lots of trees and, you know, grass and just a really big area. So I'm just trying to replicate the framing of the trees that were around us. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Find all my supplies. So I'm not going to put glue at this very edge because it's just going to hang off of the page. I do always hang on to those pieces I cut off because later on I just might need a piece of green just to kind of poke in from somewhere on another spread and so those you know i'll just throw them in this oh i actually did go almost too far i don't i think i'll be fine um but yeah i i won't i won't throw that away because who knows what's in the future and what i might possibly need that for and the idea is the trees are in the background and the arbors and in, is in the foreground in the front and then the grass will cover up the trunk of this tree So yeah, so I spent, you know, a good 20, 25 minutes making a video for you and the microphone was not cooperating. So I'm, I keep checking it now and I can see that the little light bar is moving. So hopefully it's doing something. <laughs> so if not, you're just going to see a picture of all this and not me creating it. Let's hope that it isn't that. So I'm just going to take this grass sticker off. So again, I've had this. In, oh, I ripped it. Shoot. Um, I've had this in my stash for a long time as well. I need to slow down with it, obviously. There we go. So I'll be sure to lay that part down and kind of fit it back together. So come on. Yeah, so I don't know what i did between trying to get that kahoot quiz going and trying to talk to my students but they're you know they're talking to me mrs ferguson we can't hear you they're chatting in the chat section we can't hear you and i kept you know can you hear me now can you hear me now <laughs> so like i say i don't know what i pressed and then i don't know what i did eventually to get it working so it's all a mystery so i'm texting my son tonight what's what's wrong and then i'm uh talking to what is it cortana that does the microsoft stuff on our computers on the windows <laughs> i'm like what's wrong with my microphone so she did a test and she finally just said just restart so i hit the restart and it was working and so i did put a little bit of fun foam here just at the top because i'm going to tuck i'm going to tuck some pictures up under so it looks like the arbor is still over those pictures so I only did it up there because I didn't want a lot of it lifted up, but just that little bit. Just where I can do a little bit of tucking. And I'm just going to go to the very edge with the glue in case I want to tuck stuff under the sides as well. So a lot of pictures are going on this. They fit perfectly. I just need to have everything embellishment wise just really pushed to its you know farthest out point that I can possibly put it. And so I do have that green kind of going up above, but that's all right. If it sticks out of the page protector, no big deal. And I loved how these stickers, you know, put the little, I don't know if that's um, hyacinth or, or what that is, but I'm not real good with flowers. And so this is where I took my scissors and just cut off these long parts of the rest of this sticker on here. And this goes down the sides. So it just really looks like the ivy has been growing on the arbor. And I think it's called an arbor. I'm just guessing at that. So if you want to put in the comments below what it's called, if I'm calling it the wrong thing. So I'm thinking arbor is arched, but is it an arbor if it just is over the, you know, the, uh, <clears throat> on your landscape and and whatnot I, I don't know because i don't have one i don't know what you call that <laughs> so here the shiny okay so there's all the ivy growing on it so then my last step was to add those sequins and gems and i'm just going to use some glue dots so i was trying to 
replicate like the uh you know those outside lights are so popular now where people have those white lights that are you know hanging throughout their yard so just trying to to do something similar to that give it that effect so i their colors were gray and yellow so i was using the yellow sequence first kind of putting those throughout the arbor and the ivy and then i'll go back with those clear <clears throat> gems so just trying to pick these up and just place them around just gives a little bit of a glimmer some other color and like i said this is real the real casual photos were outside everybody's in their jeans for just the rehearsal and it was a rainy time unfortunately so the wedding we had to get an emergency uh covering so fortunately we have a friend a long time friend who has a rental company that they were able to get one to us right away so at least we had a covering for everybody but unfortunately that that put an added expense for them so you know i felt bad that they had to do that but you want to have your guests comfortable right <laughs> they just wanted to get married there's like you know let's just do it but the cut the guests that are sitting there waiting and freezing <laughs> Oh, anyway, it worked out. <clears throat> We're Oregonians. Our sun is wet. Sunny days. Sunny days in Oregon are wet days. <laughs> we have wet rays. It's actually been very nice here lately. We're supposed to get the rain is supposed to be coming back in this weekend, but it has been really nice for quite a few days. In fact, I got too warm with my jacket on for my walk this evening. I needed to go on the walk because it was right before the walk that I finished the first recording. And then I realized it wasn't working and I was troubleshooting, trying to figure out what's going on. It's like, I just need to walk away. Let's walk away. And so now I'm back with a renewed appreciation for technology. <laughs> So like I say, I do not know what I did when I went between the Kahoot and I, it was through Zoom. So I don't know what I did that messed everything up. But restarting the computer seemed to kick it out of whatever it was that I decided to, to do instead of work. And you know, when you, you don't know what you're doing, you can just get, it just easily frustrates me because I'm not a techie person. So those of us that have had to, you know, go to everything online, it, it can be really frustrating. Okay. My ramblings. <laughs> While you're doing that ever so exciting gluing down of the sequins. Yes, now this I just scoop it up with my spatula and then I'll get the gems and we'll be done. And this way you got to see I finished the second layout. And so as soon as I get done with this, I can go on and glue all of my photos down. So another layout, actually a two page layout tonight will be complete. And so I'm just getting some of these little ones. I don't need very big ones to do this. Just need a little bit of shimmer in there. Just a little bit of glimmer and glitz. So this weekend, you know, I had gone through and got another batch of pictures ready so that I wasn't just creating more blank layouts. I want to be intentional, so it'll be good that I've got the pictures ready for this. I printed a couple more, but I wanted to show the whole bridal party. I only had just a few of the kids that were in it, so now I've got everybody accounted for. 
So that way I feel like I really am getting it completed on a two page layout, everything documented for practicing. These are really sticky glue dots. So I know this is boring. <laughs> How are you? She could talk back to me. Okay, we're just gonna pick up some more because I just cannot grab these little things. I need to get my little pick me up. That's what I need to use. That's a little, you know, it's got that sticky tip. That would probably help me. And it's good I'm getting some glue dots used up because I don't know how long I've had these either. You know, there's that worry that things are going to dry up and not be good anymore. Like those stickers I used for the breakfast, Mother's Day breakfast. Those were really hard to get off of their backing because they were so stuck to the sheet, not to the layout. <clears throat> so you want them to stick to your layout, but to not come off their backing. Yikes. All right, I think this will be the last one. And we will call it good for Wedding Wednesday. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with 30-ish. No, Thanksgiving Thursday. Oh, we're just Thursday. Wow. The weeks are going by so fast. That's good. That's really good, though. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that the first side did not have a voice with it so that you could hear what I was saying. But I'm sure that you get the gist from watching this page being made. It was just when I made this. But now you know. It was for my grandson's photo because he was the ring security. He was our little ring bearer. So there's the two-page spread. And like I said, my pictures will poke up in here. You won't see the end of these because they kind of go up and then they'll go down to the side. So anyway, there you go. Wedding Wednesday. Thanks for being here. And I appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. And comment below if you have any thoughts or want to share what you're doing. I appreciate the communication. Take care. Bye-bye.